Hello friends, and welcome back to my crafty space. In today's video, I am going to be putting together my first project using the Connect Story Kit from Allie Edwards. For today's project though, I am going to be doing something a little bit different than normal, and I'm actually making a 12 by 12 traditional spread. Now, I don't have a 12 by 12 album where these necessarily go into, so my 12 by 12, um, spreads that I make like this, I hang up on a wall for now. And eventually when that fills up too much, I'll, I'll take them down and end up putting them probably in the end of my Project Life album for that year or something to that extent. I'm not really sure yet, but I loved the scale of this project idea on a 12 by 12 canvas. So what I'm planning to do is to take these story cards, which I already filled out with my journaling, and I'm pairing them with a circle photo that goes to them. And then these are gonna go all over in kind of a grid-like form on this 12 by 12 textured white cardstock. And then I'm also going to use this come together in addition to these, these little heart pieces as my title in the middle. So that is the concept I'm going with here. We'll see how it all comes together. I may add some stitching, I may not. I don't really know what I'm gonna do at this point. You know, we'll feel that out as we get going on the spread. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on fast forward while I get this all put together. And then once I have this done, we will slow back down in order to close out for today. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so getting started with today's spread, the first thing I'm going to do here is take that 12 by 12 textured white cardstock and to cut off the, um, what is that called? The branding strip on there so that it is just a 12 by 12 canvas. Next, I'm going to work on my title portion. For my title, I am using this come together card and I'm actually going to take the words and fussy cut them out of this card, leaving just a tiny little bit of that peach, pink color around the outside to help it pop off of the white cardstock page. I also left the insides of the word, so like where there's the inside of the G or the inside of the O. I left those because I like the way that that looks when it's fussy cut out like that. Next, I need to go ahead and pair up all of my photos with my journaling. So what I did for this is I, I went through all of my photos and I pulled out one photo from every year of the last 10 years. So um, the first one there would have been the one year anniversary of Aaron and I dating. We went to Chicago for a weekend together just to celebrate that we had been dating for a year. And then um, the third one is where we actually got married. So this this spread documents a little bit of our dating life before we were engaged or or married. So that was kind of fun. I was thinking about having it go all the way back to where we very first started dating, but that was actually, that would have been 2009, I believe, or 2010. Anyway, it, it was just... Um, it was one year earlier than it would have been for the 10 memories. So I started at our one year dating anniversary instead. So I used my two and a half inch circle punch to punch the photos out, which I decided to print them at two and a half inches instead of three inches. So it gave me a little bit of wiggle room placing the photos underneath the cards later. So that way I don't have to worry about it being totally perfect. Uh, it, you know, as long as the photo underneath is smaller. It, it just it just gives you a little bit of wiggle room. And then once I had those all punched out and put in their piles, the next thing I did was to draw out a grid on my 12 by 12 paper. So I ultimately decide that yes, I want to add some stitching on here and I'm going to stitch the grid lines. So what I did is I measured every four inches across the top. So you've got four, eight, and 12. And then down the sides, I did every three inches, so three, six, nine, 12. So that's going to give me an area where I can add each of those circles into. I didn't draw the line all the way through the middle because I'm not actually going to stitch the middle portion. That's where all those title pieces are going to go. And I thought it would look nice to just let that be blank. Once I had those those lightly you know, drawn on the page just with pencil, I then 
pulled out my sewing machine, I have white thread in here and I'm stitching along the lines that I had drawn. Now I'm not actually going to take my eraser and erase those lines. I am okay with them looking a little bit grayish from the pencil line. I feel like it helps to make the stitching and the grid portion, like the lines that the stitching adds, I, I think it helps those to pop off the page a little bit more. So it's more distinctive that there are lines on the page, if, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to erase the pencil. I'm going to let it be for the most part, it's right underneath my stitching anyway. So, you know, it just, it was fine. <laughs> it was fine for me. Um, so the ones on the side that you can see there are just going to be half stitches right here. And then that will be it for this. So I'll put my sewing machine back away, trim off all the extra little pieces of string, and then we'll be able to go ahead and start assembling this page together. I'm going to take the title piece, add some adhesive to the back of it with my roller adhesive, and then just very lightly add it onto the page here because I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I want to make sure I get my placement just right, and I won't be totally sure about that until I get these hearts layered up underneath. So underneath the title, I'm going to add this little polka dot heart. I shouldn't say little, it's actually kind of big, but it's a plastic um, polka dot heart there. And then I had another one that was green that says you and me, which I thought looked really nice with the peach colors. And then I also grabbed out one of the peach colored or pink, pinky peach colored um, chipboard hearts that says our story. And I loved that. I loved the you and me and the our story and the come together. And it just gives this whole idea of like how you and I, meaning Aaron and I have come together and formed our story over the last 10 years. So I thought that was super cool. I used the adhesive on the back of the chipboard heart to help me hold the plastic hearts in place. I will eventually pull out my stapler though, just to add some staples directly into the plastic hearts to help them stay on the page a little bit better because there's just not quite enough adhesive quite yet to hold those on there uh, permanently for a long like a long-term situation I think that that would eventually fall off so we're going to secure it a little bit better later Next, I'm going to go ahead and add on my circle pieces so what I did is I grabbed the circle uh, story card piece and I stuck a hole at the top of it kind of where there's like a, a light line um, which is inside of the watercolored stuff <laughs> I don't know I'm saying this all wrong but that's okay so there's like the watercolor thing and then there's a line on the inside and then there's like memory one memory two so I stuck my hole in at the line and then I put my photo behind the title card so I could make sure that everything was positioned okay and then I stuck a hole back through the the journaling card section the circle journaling thing and my photo then I took the both of those together and lined them up on the 12 by 12 spread so that I could poke a hole into the 12 by 12 paper. So now we've got a hole in the card, the photo, and the paper itself. Um, once I did that, then I took the circle card. I'm going to do this again, slow down so you guys can see it again. So I'm going to take the circle card there, put it to the side, and then put my pokey tool or my awl through the hole in my photo with some adhesive on the back of the photo and through the hole on the 12 by 12 paper in order to position the photo right where I want it to go. So I'm basically adhering down the photo to this page. And then after that, we will stick the brad through all of the pieces in order to make the card swivel. Right here's where I'm adding in those staples. I tried to use my tiny attacher and I just couldn't get it to work open, you know, like having it open. So I just grabbed my normal stapler, it's okay. So here's where we're going to do this again. So I stuck a hole into the card first, then I'm lining up my photo and sticking a hole in it again, putting everything where I want it to go and putting the hole into the paper itself. Then we're going to add some adhesive onto the back of the photo, stick my all back through the hole, back through well the hole of the photo and the page, make sure everything adheres down, and then we'll grab the brad and stick it through all of the things here. Um, securing it on the back. So that way the little circle piece can move. 
So I'm going to do that for all 10 of them. I'm gonna speed it up so that you guys don't have to watch me do the same thing a million times. And then once I get this one secured on here, that is actually going to complete my spread. I love this. All right, friends, that finishes my spread for today. This one turned out really cool. I'm so glad that I decided to do it in this 12 by 12 format because it's just super cool having all of these memories. And it's like if I can open these up, we can see them all kind of, kind of. They'll cover each other up, but that one's a little low. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, but you see all these memories of you know, Aaron and I, as we've connected to each other over the course of the last 10 years. So, you know, this was a fun, this was a very fun spread to make. Um, and I loved being able to use up all 10 of these story circle cards as well. Let me put these all back down. So yeah, really fun. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, this process, seeing this page come together, and maybe it has given you an idea for something that you can document, or maybe it encourages you to go outside of your comfort zone, which is totally what I did here, going with a 12 by 12 spread this time. Uh, try something outside of your comfort zone and just give it, you know, give something a try this week that you normally wouldn't and see where it takes you. All right, you guys, so that is going to be it for today and for this week with the story kit process videos. I will have some additional videos coming out, additional process videos coming out for this kit uh, on my YouTube channel and in the Story Kit Crush hashtag in the month of April. For now, I'm just doing this one. I will probably work on the other ones throughout the course of the month so I can get them done and ready to go for April. Uh, if you are also crushing this kit, keep in mind that during the month of April, we're, you know, I will be crushing it on Instagram so you guys can join in with me, get a little bit of a head start working on your kit this month, and then be ready for it next month when it comes up. All right, so next week I will be back with some paper person uh, process video, or a process video and a project planning video as well. So uh, come back, check back in next week for those. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. I will see you guys in the Facebook group or on Instagram or you know in the interweb space, wherever that may be. So you guys have a great week. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.